I'm just gonna close this door while you're talking, okay? Okay. I have to stay in the room because it's just part of her pop. Okay, that's cool. Put my glasses. Hey, how are you? How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Um, so my name is Dr. Survey. I'm one of the psychiatrists here. And your name, sir? Uh, Joseph Kutlis. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to see what I could do to help you tonight. Um, could you tell me a little bit about why you're here in the emergency room? Well, I'm here this morning. Uh, it's a 10 past 5. I'm here because I'm very sick. I have a, a physically ill. I have a, a cough. I have a, I had a fever. Clammy, okay. clammy sweaty. I'm severely, severely sleep deprived. Okay. <coughs> and I've had a sore throat now for over a, for well over a month. Okay. So it's been a while that you haven't been feeling so good. And I saw you've been kind of, you've been to the ER multiple times um, just because you haven't been feeling so well. You've had coughs I saw in the past. Yes. Okay. Fevers as well. I had 103 fever um, over at uh, Sinai. And so. Oh, wow. When was that? It was a month ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they wanted they discharge they wanted to discharge me uh, with 103 fever. Wow. Okay. Um, so tell me a little bit about the sleep deprivation. How long has that been going on for? Um, sleep deprivation has been going on for a very long time. Very Would you long. say like days or weeks or months or years? Like if you could kind of quantify. Years. Years. Okay. When's the last? I guess so. When would when would you say the last time you got a good night's sleep was? Um, several months ago. Okay. And how long have you been awake at this point? Has it been like more than like a few days now or how, like how long would you say it's been? I, I've been just every night, you know, I'm woken up between six and 20 times per night. Okay. Um, I have videos where federal employees at the federal building, um, believe that it's a coordinated sleep deprivation um, effort and this is their words on video on youtube wow. so i don't know why federal employees would say that that they believe they're observing sleep deprivation okay uh, you would take that up with federal employees uh, you could view the youtube videos okay. uh, ask federal employees why federal employees believe that why they observe that with their own eyes for their observations uh, okay. i can't speak for them but uh you can view those videos yourself if you'd like, and you sure. can you you can contact them yourself and say, hey, why do you think this is taking place? Um, and if you think they're wrong, you can tell them that they're wrong. Okay. Um, yeah. So how are they monitoring this? Like, how do they? How are they with their own eyes, kind of monitoring this experiment? I didn't call it an experiment. Um, you did. And who's they? Who who are you referring to? Who's they? Federal employees. Yeah. So why? How did federal employees witness this? The right. gentleman, for one example, was standing at the guard stand at the FBI field office here in New York. Okay. And he was standing at the guard stand waiting for a cab, and he was standing there waiting for a cab. So he said, and uh, this is what he 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 uh, witnessed. Can you shut the door in to totality, please. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Yes. This is what he stated he witnessed. Why did he state he witnessed that? Because that's what he thinks he observed. He okay. does finance for the federal government. So okay. why would a bureaucrat who does finance for the federal government, who's standing at the federal building at the guard tower, early, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, believe that he's witnessing a coordinated sleep deprivation effort? Why okay. does he think that? Because uh, for whatever reason, that's what he observed. Okay. Did you meet him or did you just see him? Like, how did you... I saw him, him and approached him and videotaped the conversation. Okay. What was your conversation with him? Like... You could view... I don't remember verbatim, but okay. you can view it on YouTube if you'd like, doctor. Okay. Uh, what was the general gist? I, I, I was... I, I thought that what I was experiencing was sleep deprivation... A coordinated sleep deprivation campaign. Okay. And I wanted a witness to that. I approached the gentleman, sir, are you, are you witnessing what I'm witnessing? And, and I'm paraphrasing again, not quoting him verbatim. I advise you view the video. He said, yes, that is what I am observing as well. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a great night. And that's how the conversation ended. 
I see. And, again, and when did this happen? Uh, a week ago, a week and a half ago, this okay. conversation took place. Again, Doc, I would advise you view the YouTube video before you uh, draw conclusions and um, do whatever okay. you do on your end. You can go sure, to YouTube yes. doc, YouTube.com and search Kutlis, C-O-U-T-L-I-S, C-O-U-T-L-I-S. Okay. And just go down the go down the videos. Okay. Fine. So okay, so I mean, this is very very scary what you're describing. Um, how are they keeping you awake? How like how are they? What is their like? How are they doing the sleep deprivation? Um, I would again, I would advise you view the video. Okay. All right. Okay. Because nothing um, I can say to you. This is such an anomaly. There's nothing I can say to you to make you believe that this is taking place. Uh, you know, you're not in a position of tenure. You're not in a position of, uh, right. you know, so I, I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you that that's what I, I'm going to advise you. Go view the videos. Okay. So you said to search Kutlis. I'll do that right after we finish talking. Yeah. Um, so just to kind of finish up the evaluation, uh, I just have to ask you some more questions. How's your mood been recently? Um, pretty, you know, I, I, I would say that I, I observed as being very calm, accurate, precise, and very in control of myself. Okay. Okay. Have you been feeling depressed or like angry, irritable, happy? How would you say, how would you kind of qualify, qualify your mood? Um, normal. Okay. Okay. Overall, How's your appetite? Good. Um, when I'm especially very tired and very fatigued, I'm a little bit hungrier. Okay. Multiple so been, doctors have said that, that that's probably normal when you're very tired to be a little bit hungrier. Right. Okay. How's your energy level during the day? Um, well, given that I'm severely sleep deprived, I'm often very fatigued. Okay. How are you spending your days right now? Um, on social media, uh, reading a lot. I do a lot of reading. Um, okay. So I just finished. Um, just I finished so many books. I, I I'm waiting for two more at the library. I okay. read a lot. I speak with different people, passers by, New Yorkers, mm -hmm. chit chatting. Hi, how are you? Where are you from? Your work. Blah 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 blah. blah. Mm -hmm. So these sorts okay. of very cordial conversations. Sometimes very professional conversations with young professionals, middle-aged professionals, older professionals. Okay. Um, okay. Talking so about politics, talking about academe, talking about um, uh, all things going on with our republic in terms of um, our leadership, etc. Sure. Okay. So you have. Quite, it sounds like you have some hobbies that you're enjoying and. Um, let me ask you, where are you living right now? I'm, I'm, I'm currently, uh, I have no choice but to live on the street. Okay. How long have you been on the street? Um, since last September. Okay. Okay. Do you have any family or friends in the area? Any kind of support system that you can turn to? Um, well, the community is very supportive, you know, so okay. I, 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 I I don't know what you mean by family and friends, but the way I interpret that, I, I'll respond to you and say that uh, there are many, 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 many people who are very supportive in the community. Great, uh, okay. Many people, many supporters to respond okay. to your question. Okay, great. Um, so now sometimes when people are having these very disturbing experiences, like what you dis what you kind of discussed earlier, People might start to have thoughts like life is not worth living or they'd be better off dead. Have you ever had thoughts like that? No. Okay. And have you ever done anything maybe even in the past to, to hurt yourself or try to end your life? No. Okay. Do you, do you want to hurt anyone else at any point? No. Okay. And do you have access to any guns? No. Okay. Thank you. Um, sometimes when people are stressed, they might hear voices when they're alone <coughs> uh, or when other people aren't, um, are not around, they might hear some voices. Um, has that happened to you before? Uh, it is not, but I do understand that in other situations where people are severely sleep deprived, um, that, that, that has taken place in other cases. 
uh, but that has not taken place in my case. Okay, okay. Have you seen things that other people can't see or that look like they don't belong? No. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. So have you ever seen a psychiatrist for any reason before now? E evaluations in the past. Okay. And uh, any like medications that you've been prescribed or followed up with anybody before? So I've never been diagnosed with anything. I, I just, you know, growing up the way I grew up, it was required that I, I see, a, a, you know, get evalu regular evaluations by a whole gambit of people as a part of the New York State, um, New York State um, oversight system. Okay. Okay. And have they ever given you any medicines? Uh, not that I can recall right now. That's okay. Okay. All right. And when's the last time you had one of these evaluations? Um, I sat down with a psychologist um, not too long ago. Would you say it's been like a couple weeks or months or more? Um, it's been, um, you know, I don't have my notes in front of me right now, but it's been a while. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to quote dates for you because I, I, I probably wouldn't be accurate. That's uh, okay. Because I don't have my notes in front of me, but it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. But I've sat down with psychologists in the past and uh, not, nothing that is, um, nothing's <laughs> been, uh, you know, nothing, uh, mm -hmm. Nothing uh, that that I would raise as a concern to you, or that sure. they've raised okay. as a concern to anyone else. Okay, all right. Now, now, are you taking any medicines on a regular basis for any physical health problems? Um, no, no. Okay. I mean, I'm, you... I'm, 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 I have developed, I have developed high blood pressure. Okay. And I have developed acute sleep apnea over the okay. past five, six, seven years of. Uh, being in this situation. I understand. So I've developed health, health, serious health issues as a result of being uh, in this situation. I understand, okay. Are you taking anything for the blood pressure? Lisinopril and amlodipine. Okay, do you know the doses? Uh, 40 milligrams lisinopril, 10 milligrams amlodipine. Okay, okay. Um, all right, and um, when's the last time you had any alcohol? Uh, I, you know, I, I've, uh, it's been a it's been a few weeks. I, I haven't uh, drinking a, had a beer with dinner and uh, you know a, a, a social uh, responsible adult beverage and uh, a, a few weeks. Sure. Okay. How about marijuana? Uh, I don't smoke weed. Okay. Um, how about any like pain pills, heroin, cocaine? No, I don't do any drugs. Nothing. No drugs. Um, anything for anxiety like Xanax? No, ma'am. Okay. okay. No drugs. Got it. Okay. Now, has anyone in your family um, ever been diagnosed with a psychiatric illness such as depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia? Yes. My mother okay. had bipolar disorder. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and my, I have a sister who um, I think is diagnosed with acute depression. Okay. I don't think that it's beyond acute depression. I think that's what she has, acute depression. Got it. Okay. Have there been any suicides or attempted suicides in your family? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Not that I can recall right now. I, 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 um, sure. Okay. Yeah. No problem. All right. Um, so if you could kind of come up with a plan for yourself, what would you, what would you like? Well, I, I've been lobbying the city for housing and, um, most local government bureaucrats are, for whatever reason, don't want to, um, don't want to give me housing. I don't understand why. I, you know, I, I pray that I, I get housing. You know, in Jesus' name, I, I've been asking the Lord to, to help, you know, get me housing. And, uh, you know, um, you know, it's getting cold out. There are nights where I wake up and it's Absolutely. 50 degrees out. And I wake up shivering for, you know, the 12 times I'm awoken. Right. Um, I wake up shivering. You know, it's That's very cool. cold out. Um there are those nights where it's, it's 55. We've already had 55 degree nights, 60 degree nights. That's very cold to be sleeping outside. Absolutely. Especially if there's a breeze. Would you be interested in some referrals, perhaps for like um, case management, um, you know, a psychiatrist, the kind of a team that could help you with the housing issues? Well, I don't know what a psychiatrist would do in terms of helping with housing. <laughs> well, usually they were 
I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Doctor. No, no. I was just going to say, usually they work together with social work and case management. Um, and, you know, all together, they could help come up with a solution. Well, I'm interested in case management. Sure. Okay. So we can certainly give you some referrals. Okay, okay great. Sure. Um, just another question I forgot to ask. Um, have you ever been arrested for any reason? I have not. Okay. But I will tell you, doctor, and I can attest that the shelter system in the United States is a feeder system. It is a criminalization and feeder system for the entire um, criminal justice system. It is a feeder system. It's like a bucket of fish. And every municipality and government uses it, uses it as a feeder system uh, for the entire criminal justice system. It is a it is a, it is a feeder system, and it's an incredible phenomenon. It's an incredible phenomenon. It's a feeder system, and it's it's an incredible shame um, that politicians don't give a damn about it. Um, from Massachusetts, all the way down here to New York, it, it's a it's a federally controlled feeder system. Okay, that's terrible to hear. Yeah. Now, have you ever been a violent person or engaged in any kind of altercations with anybody in the past? No, I, I, I am I'm very calm, accurate, precise. Uh, okay. I only, if I'm attacked, you know, given the situation I'm in, I'm, I'm willing to defend myself, but I'm not a violent person. I am not a violent person. I am okay. not a violent person. I have no criminal background. I have no criminal background. I have no criminal background. Okay. All right. Um, now, is, do you have any family or friends who we could reach out to just to let them know you're here and that you're okay? I, I do not have uh, anyone, you know, people in my family have all passed away. I'm um, sorry. It is, no, it is just a point of information. You asked me a question. I'm responding to your, your question with a point of information. And But thank you. Um, thank you for, for your, 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 um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't have any family I could give you to speak with. Um, there okay. are attorneys that you could speak with, but I don't see how that would be beneficial um, to me given this isn't a legal matter. Right. Um, okay. And okay. as for friends, I have friends, um, but again, I don't, I don't, th I don't see this as a situation that, um, okay. involves friends. This involves you, me. Uh, and the stakeholders who appear to be uh, held responsible in some of the YouTube videos where witnesses are saying they're viewing things that if I sat here and told you happened, uh, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to confirm without saying to me there's a potential that this individual is not seeing things straight. But I would advise you watch those videos, YouTube.com, and you can take up your issues with these bureaucrats who have witnessed what they've witnessed. Understood. Okay. All right. Um, I just wanted to offer this to you um, because you mentioned that it's been difficult kind of being on the streets. Would you be interested in a hospitalization um, where you come in? It would be a psychiatric unit. Is that something you'd be interested in? What does that mean? What does that entail? What, what is all of that? So basically, you know, because you're, you're very distressed by everything that's happening, um, we have floors in our hospital that can um, basically help treat um, the anxiety that you're feeling, the distress, they can help you to kind of feel a little bit better. Um, it would entail, you know, perhaps some medication, <coughs> for anxiety. Um, you know, it would entail talking to, you know, they have, there's group therapists, uh, th group therapy, individual therapists to, you know, discuss some of these things that have been going on that have been on your mind. Yeah. So, you know, I'm a target of Appalachian on Appalachian Trail, which is a federally funded crowdsourcing platform. Um, I have withdrawn any, I have withdrawn all and any authorization by this hospital to discuss anything related to me on any government platform. Absolutely. Without a court confident. order. Without a court order. Absolutely. And We're completely confidential. Yeah, let them go get their court order. I, I know they will if they want. That's fine bless their hearts but i have withdrawn any authorization any discussion of anything related to me um to any degree by any okay. hospital worker any hospital worker who decides that they should discuss me on appalachian trail should be terminated by your hospital 
should be okay. terminated with contempt. <laughs> and I say this with a smile because I, I'm, I'm asserting my rights to HIPAA. Given my situation, okay. privacy matters a lot to me, doctor. Do you understand? Understood. It's very important Absolutely. to me. And so, um, but beyond that, I, I will tell you I'm a target on an Appalachian Trail, your federal, the federally funded crowdsourcing application. Um, so getting a job and keeping a job is nearly impossible. Okay. Um, and maintaining relationships becomes very, very difficult at times Absolutely. as a result of being a target on Appalachian Trail. Okay. Um, so you're going through a lot right now. You are. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. And again, you might say to me, well, Appalachian Trail doesn't exist. Again, view the videos on, on YouTube and you're going to see people um, talking openly with me about Appalachian Trail. So don't take my word for anything I've said to you. Go on YouTube, ma'am, and, and listen to my fellow New Yorkers who are working in finance and who are working in uh, different fields, expert fields openly discuss Appalachian Trail with me. Okay. Um, All right. Yes, uh, absolutely. But I, just, but I just wanted to clarify, yeah. so would you be interested in a hospitalization or not? Um, I, I, I still don't understand what that entails. I'm not interested in any medications. I, okay. I don't want to take anxiety medications. Um, okay. I, I, don't, I don't see the, the need for it. Um, okay. I, I, um, I, I will say that I am interested in, in possibly doing like group group um, you know group uh, group work and whatnot. I I do that now. Uh, okay. You know, I I'm sitting at a cafe, and I talk to you know the people sitting down. We have a wonderful conversation about French language and French culture, and or I'm I'm uh, on the subway, and um, the same sort of thing takes place. So look. I, I I'm already uh, I already uh, have wonderful conversations and um, uh, that are enriching that are, are, are beneficial that are intelligent that are okay. thoughtful, uh, but I so I, I am interested in group uh, group chats, okay, um, and having access to a community, sure. Uh, but the, the whole side of um, putting me in the uh, um, the mental health department of mental health pipeline. Is something I am opposed to. It's something I, okay. I I am not not excited about or or will lend myself to. Okay, um, no problem. Because that's another so that's another feeder system for uh, the situation I'm in. Okay. All right. Would you be interested in some shelter referrals? So, I've already discussed with you my concerns about shelters. Uh, so I, I'm not I'm not interested in. Um, okay. I, I right. have I know where the shelters are. I can go seek seek them out whenever I want. Okay. Um, okay, no problem. All right, so then um, we're going to have our social worker just send over some case management referrals, um, and that way you can have those uh, numbers in case you want to give anybody a call, okay? I appreciate it, Doctor. And again, what's your name? Sure, I'm Dr. Sarvea. Dr. Sarvea, I, I thank you very much. And where are sure. you calling in from? Uh, I'm actually calling from uh, the same hospital. I'm just on a different floor. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, all right, sir, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Survey. Have a great day. You too, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.